Hello there and welcome back to After Effects Basics. You've seen some AI turn text into images like this one, but now you can turn text or a photo into a full 3D model in under a minute and use it directly in After Effects. This tool is called Tripo AI. It has ultra fast AI 3D model generation and it's super easy to use. Look. This is me. You can go from text input to 3D or you can go from an image to 3D. Tripo can generate textures and even fully rig characters. I mean, there's an entire model library with 3D assets all created by Trepo users. So there's no fake stuff on here. These can all be downloaded and used in After Effects or any other 3D software. Today I'll show you a detailed workflow of Trepo AI and of course how to add your 3D model to your clips in After Effects. So right here is the homepage and this is where you'll find the community gallery. But now the quickest way to generate a model is by literally typing in what you want. Let's try a house made of candy cookies and chocolate. Then click on generate and this opens up the 3D workspace. On the right side you can see everything you've already generated and of course the one you're generating right now. And there you go, a house made of candy, cookies and chocolate. Beautiful. Now, like I told you, this was super easy and fast, but there are more ways to generate models. On top, you'll see the option one click. If you select this one, your model will come with textures. If you pick build and refine, you can add textures later. More about that soon, but for now, let's use one click. Okay, now to generate a new model, go to image slash text to 3D. In here, you can upload a reference image or you can use text to generate one. Let's try a small stone chapel, simple shape, pitched roof, wooden door, slightly stylized and of course with a white background. At the bottom you can choose a model, let's pick Flux 1 and then click generate image preview. Wow, look at that. I mean this is already perfect for video games or animations. I am happy with the results but what if I want to add something, for example a torch? Well you can still edit your prompt. Let's add wall torch and then click edit image. Once it's done it will have a beautiful wall torch. Boom! Now they've recently added the generate multi views button. Button. This will generate a picture of all sides of the image. That's gonna make it a lot easier to turn it into a 3D object. Just imagine someone told you this was possible five years ago. Okay, now next, make sure the mesh resolution is set to ultra. That way you'll get the highest possible quality. Same for HD textures, that will make it a lot better. Let's hit generate and let it do its thing. Look at that, I mean it's, it's just perfect. As you can see we already have a texture and that's because we chose one click. If we would have picked build and refine, our model would have looked like this. In that case, you can still retexture your model by going to the texture tab. Right here, you can use text or the image to generate a texture. Obviously in our case the image is a better choice. Again make sure HD texture is checked and then we can choose between two types of texture alignment. The image alignment will make sure the texture will look as close as possible to the provided image. The structure aligned can go a little out of its lane if it thinks the texture will look better. Let's pick that one. Click on generate texture and boom! This is absolutely stunning. By the way on the bottom right there's a history button and if you open it up you can always go a step back if you want. Look at at this. Wonderful. Now next I want to show you how I made this humanoid model of myself. So I basically uploaded an image of a cartoon version of me. Uh, you don't necessarily have to type in anything because we're going to turn this image into a T-pose. That makes it easier to rig it. To do that click the T-pose button and then click on edit image. There you go. Now again for this one I noticed that using multi views had a much better result. So of course let's do that one again. Look at that. Again I made sure the mesh resolution is set to ultra, HD texture enabled and then click on generate. Ooh, you can already see me appearing right here. Right, now before we rig my character, let's try the brand new texture upscale feature. You'll find it back in the texture tab and all you gotta do is go to texture upscale. In here, click upscale now and let it do its thing. Wow, now I look like I'm made of plastic and I, I'm gonna keep that style, I kinda like it. Now it's time for some rigging. In here, simply click the auto rig button. That will do it all for you. When it's done, go to the top and here you can enable the skeleton to make sure you're rigged correctly. As you can see, that is the case. Next up, you can choose from more than a hundred presets to make your character move. It's a huge library. That's all amazing, but next we're gonna do something cool. Now it's time to add some models to our shots in After Effects. Let's pick one of our models. As I mentioned before, you can download them. Make sure you pick an object or GLB file and now in After Effects, make sure you have your clip and your 
3D model loaded. Next, right click your clip and choose track and stabilize. Then click track camera. Now wait until it's done and then you'll see these tracker points. Find a spot where you want to add some 3D objects. Right click it and choose create solid and camera. That will spawn a solid. And if we move the playhead, you can see that it sticks to your tracking data. Awesome. Now go to the project panel and find your object. Drag it on top of your clips in the timeline. Next, open up the parent and link menu. Hold down shift and click track solid one. Now the 3D object sticks to the solid. Make sure to unlink it again because we don't want it linked. Of course, it's a little small now. So go ahead and rescale and adjust the orientation so that the 3D model fits your video. Feel free to make the solid a bit bigger. Next up, expand the track solid material options and make sure the accept shadows is set to only. That way the solid will disappear but the shadows will remain. As soon as we make them, of course. To make shadows, right click, new and then light. Choose environment light. Make sure cast shadows is checked and click on OK. There you go. Now adjust the X and Y rotation of the light until the shadow looks more natural. Also play around with the intensity and the darkness of the shadow to make it blend in with the rest of the clip. Now to polish it, I pre-composed all the clips that had anything to do with the nutcracker. And then I added a mask to make the shadow look more natural. And that's how easy it actually is. Now if you click the link down below, go to Tripo AI and register, you'll get 500 credits for free on top of the 300 credits that were already free. Also, you can get 60% off the first month of Pro by using the code TMON. Thank you Tripo so much for sponsoring this video and of course thank you guys for watching.